What is radiation? Have you ever thought about what radiation actually is? Radiation can be found all around us. In varying amounts. It is essentially the release of energy. Which is given off by everyday things. Such as the sun and household electrical appliances. We are always being exposed to natural background radiation. From radioactive gases given off from the earth to radioactive substances in the soil. Have you ever had an x-ray? That's another form of radiation. Ever used a sunbed? Also radiation. Your mobile phone gives off radiation. As do computers, heaters, and radios. It's everywhere. So does this mean that we are in constant danger from microwaves and the world around us? Let's investigate. What is microwave radiation? Microwaves are a form of electromagnetic radiation. That is, they are waves of electrical and magnetic energy moving together through space. Electromagnetic radiation spans a broad spectrum from very long radio waves to very short gamma rays. The human eye can only detect a small portion of this spectrum called visible light. A radio detects a different portion of the spectrum. And an X-ray machine uses yet another portion. Visible light. Microwaves. And radio frequency RF radiation are forms of non-ionizing radiation. Non-ionizing radiation does not have enough energy to knock electrons out of atoms. X-rays are a form of ionizing radiation. Exposure to ionizing radiation can alter atoms and molecules and cause damage to cells in organic matter. Microwaves are used to detect speeding cars and to send telephone and television communications. Industry uses microwaves to dry and cure plywood, cure rubber and resins, raise bread and donuts, and to cook potato chips. But the most common consumer use of microwave energy is in microwave ovens. Microwaves have three characteristics that allow them to be used in cooking. They are reflected by metal. They pass through the glass, paper, plastic, and similar materials, and they are absorbed by foods. Microwave radiation can heat body tissue the same way it heats food. Exposure to high levels of microwaves can cause a painful burn. Two areas of the body, the eyes and the testes, are particularly vulnerable to RF heating because there is relatively little blood flow in them to carry away excess heat. Additionally, the lens of the eye is particularly sensitive to intense heat, and exposure to high levels of microwaves can cause cataracts. But these types of injuries, burns and cataracts, can only be caused by exposure to large amounts of microwave radiation. Microwave Oven Safety Standard through its Center for Devices and Radiological Health CDRH. The FDA sets and enforces standards of performance for electronic products to assure that radiation emissions do not pose a hazard to public health. A federal standard 21 CFR 1030.10 limits the number of microwaves that can leak from an oven throughout its lifetime to 5 milliwatts MW of microwave radiation per square centimeter at approximately 2 inches from the oven surface. This limit is far below the level known to harm people. Microwave energy also decreases dramatically as you move away from the source of radiation. A measurement made 20 inches from an oven would be approximately 1. One hundredth of the value measured at 2 inches from the oven. The standard also requires all ovens to have two independent interlock systems that stop the production of microwaves the moment the latch is released or the door is opened. In addition, a monitoring system stops oven operation in case one or both of the interlock systems fail. All ovens must have a label stating that they meet the safety standard. In addition, the FDA requires that all ovens have a label explaining precautions for use. This requirement may be dropped if the manufacturer has proven that the oven will not exceed the allowable leakage limit even if used under the conditions cautioned against on the label. To make sure the standard is met, FDA tests microwave ovens in its own laboratory. The FDA also evaluates manufacturers' radiation testing and quality control programs at their factories.